Hi guys, this is a special Real Housewives of New York cast update. It's time for me to mention it all. And I'll add news about Jill and Bethany too, because why not? Let's start with an important Roni news alert. So Andy recently did an interview with Variety. I feel like all these celebrities always spill to Variety, where he admitted that they've been trying to figure out what to do with Roni, not surprised. Last season was pretty rough and having no reunion was super weird. It's like having no closure. And that they came up with a solution to split the whole show into two. One that will feature a multicultural, real group of friends, not just a mishmash of people who don't know each other because that never works. And the other will feature the OGs. And it doesn't have a name yet, but they call it internally Roni Throwback or Roni Legacy. No word on who will be on either. They're like at the beginning stages. I, if it was me, I would probably recast the season three Scary Island season cast for the Legacy show. That was my favorite season. It was peak Roni. It included Jill, Kelly, Alex, Bethany, Luann, and Ramona, and Sonia. So it had everybody... And that would be awesome. And Bethany went on TikTok to chime in on this whole news. Well, kind of cryptically because I didn't figure out what exactly she was trying to say. But the voiceover on the TikTok said that it's a long story and it's really freaking boring. I mean, is she saying that it's going to be boring? It's a boring choice? I don't know. But I'm actually excited for this. And I like where they're going with it. Speaking of OGs... Oh my gosh, guys, Jill Zarin went on the Juicy Scoop podcast with Heather McDonald, and I forgot how entertaining and open she is, honestly, and I guess this is a little bit of a podcast report because I've been listening to so many podcasts lately. Anyways, she talked about how ironic it is that Ramona, remember in the first season, she stormed off the set of the reunion because she didn't want to talk about a boob, basically. And meanwhile, in the last seasons now, she has no problem with boobs out in the pool. I mean, people evolve, which is great. She also said that Ramona lives in her building and apparently Ramona just ignored Jill's boyfriend or avoided saying hi to him or something, which I can totally see her doing that. Anyway, speaking of Ramona, recently she's been in Aspen just living her best life. She was also there with Avery and she's also been to Palm Beach. So two of her fave spots, Aspen and Palm Beach, very fancy. Luann went on the Behind the Velvet Rope podcast and talk about how she fell off the wagon recently. I felt so bad when I heard about this. Luann seemed to be doing so well. She was, you know, doing so many seasons and not drinking. But she said, you know, it's one day at a time. It's a journey for her. And for her, it's when she's not busy that it's more problematic. So we're all human. We're all learning and seems like she's back on track. Lou is promoting her cabaret show that's coming up. So she's doing press and she went on, you know, she also went on Tamara's podcast, Two Teas in a Pod, and Teddy's there too, by the way. And Luann said that if she had to pick between Dorinda and Bethany to be stuck with on a desert island, she would pick Dorinda. So there you go. That was very telling. Her new cabaret show starts touring in April. Leah McSweeney wrote a book, guys, a memoir called Chaos Theory, and apparently she details grappling with addiction, navigating mother motherhood, and grieving her beloved grandmother, Marie. And I'm sure she's just really blunt and reveals like so much stuff. And the book comes out in April, and she's kind of been busy promoting it on Instagram and stuff like that. Is it just me, or there's so many Bravo stars that either have a book coming out or a show of some kind? I mean, it's a whole thing. Leah also revealed recently that she was Julia Fox's AA sponsor years ago. Yes, that Julia Fox that dated, or I mean, I, I mean, were they dating? Anyways, but they were kind of like spending time together with Kanye after Kim. So 
Yeah, that's a fun fact, isn't it? And Ebony has been quite busy, actually. She co-hosted The View. Here she is with Whoopi Goldberg. And she's in some reality show airing on CBS called Beyond the Edge. In the description for the show, it says, Beyond the Edge features nine celebrities trading their worlds of luxury to live in the dangerous jungles of Panama, where they face off in epic adventures and endure the most brutal conditions. So yeah, it's like celebrities out of their comfort zone. This kind of type of show has been done so many times, but it's always kind of good. So, and it's from the pr producers of Naked and Afraid. So how cool is that? And Sonia, Sonia was just in Maryland recently. She says, you know it's spring when the cherry trees are blooming. Happy to be back in Baltimore. Sonia is on tour for her own show. It's a comedy show. And um, so right now, I guess Sonia and Luann are both kind of touring-ish. But Sonia's show is called Sonia in Your City, and it features like other stand-up comedians, drag artists, and like improv comedy. Sonia's really funny, like that's like what she brings to the show naturally, so I think this would be good for her. And Bethany, the queen, well, she's pretty much continuing her amazing humanitarian efforts to make a difference with her charity Be Strong. It's just very admirable that Bethany, who does not need to be involved, like she doesn't need to do anything, she's like super rich, but she's so involved with humanitarian work and making a difference. And under this post, she said, we are in motion to ship 100,000 hygiene kits, be strong survival kits, blankets, generators, sleeping bags to Ukraine's NATO boarding countries. This initial commitment of supplies will exceed $10 million. Okay, I mean, that's admirable again. She's the queen. And Bethany also had a mother-daughter vacation with Bryn to Hawaii, which was super cute. All right, guys, thanks so much for listening to my Real Housewives of New York update. If you like this channel, definitely give me a subscribe and like this video. Have a great day and week. Bye, guys.